Hey guys, so this is the Ojogu family's big move to Canada. So myself, Hobby, and our four kids are big move. Okay, let the countdown begin. First thing first, I consider comfort. Comfort to me means my my sight. So I had to get a new pair of glasses. Like these glasses was just the bomb. I made sure that everything was in it so that before I settle down and start moving my left and right, you know. Next thing, shopping. Hmm. We shopped and shopped and shopped. As in the Nigerian in us, they not even could not even let things go. We had to buy things, buy spices, buy milk, buy milo, buy everything that we know that we'll be able to, you know, use. Today we're so so exhausted. Like you know, when you are happily exhausted, <laughs> we were exhausted. <laughs> So guys, we bought stuffs that we're going to eat for you know quite a while before we know our left and right in our new destination. Next thing, though, we decided to go and eat fish. I mean, we need to rest, we need to relax, we need to enjoy ourselves. We need a few days to our trip, so we decided to go to one spot like that where we enjoy their fish barbecue. We ordered barbecue and we had fun. Next, I had to get this nylon bag. Yeah, so this bag, I decided that my logo for this packing was going to be clean clear and airtight like sealed no spills no smell operation no sp no seal, no spill no smell this is a room you won't believe nothing not even small smell this is my milk my fish everything i carried that i know that i bought from the market like and i needed to take out from the packs i put them in these airtight bags and i used the vacuum sealer to make sure that it was really sealed this is how my fish came in you know how fish can smell but this one did not smell jack because i made sure that i sealed it very very properly and then it was see-through so that i don't want to hear any immigration just like they couldn't see what was inside so they threw it away mm -mm. i had to make sure that everything was in clear pouches Packing of clothes, oh my god, what was I going to leave behind? Because I mean, I had new clothes that I just bought for my kids. What was I going to leave out? So, we you now had to like start cherry picking the clothes and making sure that we narrow down to the very, very necessary ones. So, we had to lock all our bags, and the ones that didn't have code, we had to lock them like this. Like, we don't want to hear gist, you know, this is Nigeria, we don't want to hear any stories. So anyone that was complete and made, we took it outside like since we're going to take them out, we wanted to start sending them ahead of time to Lagos so that it won't be so much of a hassle. Or more, to carry the load now, we now have to go and borrow a truck <laughs> from one of our friends. Like this is the only car that could carry our 11 boxes. So because of the size of our family, like we had 11 checking boxes, so we're entitled to 11 checking boxes. and. You know hand luggages plus one stroller because of our toddler so hobby had already loaded the car like you know everything all the boxes so 10 of the boxes were ready to leave so we had to take them to you know the s-trip first to start loading them to lagos first so that at least we'll not travel we'll travel light so this is also the you know the mini s-trip that we have all our boxes in fact that day in god i was so shy but <laughs> it is what so this is hobby coming back with some of the things the bags some of the bags weighed more than 23 kg so we had to bring back some stuffs home even after weighing them at home because he was just shouting at me that they like he told me the bags were overweight i said no they weren't this is me oh i say i beg stress cannot come and kill me oh. let me just stand and pose for some pictures at least counting down my last days in niger before my big move <laughs> 